Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and I'm gonna consider this episode kind of a part two of one I released a little while ago, which was on the more advanced batting statistics like WOBA, WRC+, and the like. Originally, I was gonna include this in that episode, but because it's such a new statistic, I thought I would give it kind of its own feature. So today we're actually gonna talk about DRC+, which is Deserved Runs Created Plus. And this one was actually just established recently, as in this year, being 2019, if you're watching this from the future. Welcome future. Welcome future YouTube viewers. I hope you are enjoying how outdated some of these statistics videos are. I'm sure you have something like X9000RC and it's a perfect calculator of all baseball pitching and batting combined and I look forward to reading all about it. But for today we're going to talk about baseball's newest statistic, DRC+. It was created by Baseball Prospectus way back in 2018. So the aim of DRC+, is to kind of replace stuff like WOBA and WRC+, as the batting statistic that is all-encompassing and gives the most complete overview of a batter's actual quality season to season. So unlike some of the other statistics we've talked about in the past, this isn't a predictive. This is one that you can use season to season, just like WRC+, and it gives you a very good overall value of that player's skill. What is DRC+, you might ask? Well, now that you've watched those videos on WOBA and WRC and WRC+, you're a bit of a pro on advanced batting statistics, and you understand that the goal of these is to bring in an all-encompassing overview of every accomplishment a player has made on a field in that season. So like other statistics that we've mentioned before, it is graded on that 100 scale, where every number over 100 represents the percentage value that player is better than league average. So our go-to example would be if a player has a DRC plus of 130, it means they were 30% better than everybody else in the league. So what makes DRC plus different than something like WOBA or WRC plus is that it does factor in all results at the plate and not just the ones that result in a player getting on base. So while something like WOBA assigns a value to every event that happens at the plate that ends in a base run, DRC plus does something very similar in that it assigns a value for everything that happens at a plate even if it doesn't result in the player getting on base. So it accounts for stuff like strikeouts, hitting into a double play, or similar negative end results. And similarly to how something like WOBA gives a value to all those positive results that end in a base run, DRC plus also gives value to these negative results and a negative value at that end. So basically these weighted values, both positive and negative, are meant to give a truer reflection of a player's actual value overall. And it's kind of interesting because it is one of the only stats that takes those negatives into account. And I can see what Baseball Prospectus is doing here because that does give you a truer overall sense of what a player is capable of doing at the plate on a regular basis. These individual results are then of course factored against league average, which is where that 100 number comes into play. So what Baseball Prospectus hopes to achieve by doing this is giving us, like I said, a more true overall picture of a player's actual ability. And that's the kind of neat thing about DRC+, because by giving us both the negative and positive, I think I agree with them in that it does actually achieve a more full picture of what a batter was able to do over the course of a season. So whether or not we're actually going to see something like DRC+, become the new go-to, similar to what WRC+, is right now, remains to be seen. The statistic is much too new and is not widely used as of yet, but I do like that it gives that full overview, including the negative results, and I think it's something interesting to keep an eye on, which is why I decided to give it its own episode, because it is so new and most people don't know a lot about it yet. I'm going to put a link down below to the Baseball Prospectus post about the origins of the statistic, so you can read more about how they developed it and how they go into figuring out the DRC plus values for each player. I hope you enjoyed that and found it to be interesting. It's more of a unique new stat and I think with our previous knowledge of stuff like WOBA and WRC plus it's actually a lot easier to understand than maybe some of the more advanced statistics. So by now you're probably becoming a bit of an expert on that 100 scale so reading the values of something like DRC plus shouldn't be that difficult. Hope you liked this. If you did give it a thumbs up. Head down to the comments. Is this your first time hearing about DRC plus or are you an avid baseball perspective? Reader. Were you on board as soon as they announced it, or are you still a little bit uncertain about?
about a new statistic being brought in on top of all the ones we already have. You can follow me on social media. I'm at 90 feet from home on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you wouldn't mind, go down below and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it immensely. Every time somebody subscribes means the world to me, truly. And if you want to be notified every time a new episode goes live, please click that little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll find out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode goes live. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys back next time. Thanks so much. Bye!